Yo, 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 what's up guys? So you are playing Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and you want to finally level up that fire break armor, but you need those pesky smother wing butterflies and you have no idea where to go, but don't worry, I got you covered. The smother wing butterflies can be found in the Elden Mountain region, Death Mountain region, all those places up here, just everywhere with uh, the lava, this is where you can find the smother wing butterflies. Now they can be found pretty much anywhere on the map, but you're going to find them more abundantly where there's where there's lava nearby but this is gonna be uh, this is me finding my first one right here I'm gonna show you um, it's just one random spot in the map they're just you know sitting around anywhere they're butterflies you know they just hang around anywhere they want to uh, hang out and I uh, hear it is right here wait no hold on and boom there it is I just caught my first one right there smother wing butterfly now these things like I said they can be found anywhere on the map near the Elden Mountain region, this, this whole area right here where all the lava is at, they can be found anywhere over there, but they're going to be found more abundantly where there are pools of lava, like if you see like a, a lake or just anywhere where there's lava, you're going to be able to find more of them, and I'm going to show you that really quickly right here. Now you're going to need a lot of these things, like all told, you're going to need like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, I'd say get like 30 of these things before you go to the Great Fairy Fountain if you want to max out the armor completely. And you need some Hinox guts too. And I'm going to show you me leveling this thing up um, very shortly here at the Great Fairy Fountain after I show you how easy they can be found near lava pools. Now, if you look on the mini map right there down on your bottom right hand corner, this spot where I'm at is going to be pretty easy to find on your mini map. And after I find like two or three of them, I'm going to open the uh, giant map and show you exactly where I'm at on the map. All right, you see there's a uh, shrine right near there, so there is a pretty good indicator of where you need to go if you have all the shrines unlocked. All right, so there's a butterfly right there. I'm stalking up on it. Now, if you have a potion that makes you immune to fire damage and you use the Sheikah armor, that stealth armor, that'll help you out a lot. However, I realize that you really didn't need to use that armor if you just move very slowly towards them wearing the fire break armor. Alright, so that was the uh, one. There's going to be like two or three more just sitting around, hanging out, chilling out right here. It was kind of crazy. I was like, damn, I can't believe these are all just hanging out right here. And I'm sitting here running all around the area trying to find these smother wing butterflies when literally all I had to do was come down here next to all this lava and just pick up a bunch of them. Alright, I'm just closing in on one right here. Boom, there's another one. And then there's going to be one more just chilling right there. I'm pretty sure there's probably like two or three more like further along, but this is all the ones that I needed. I'm going to go catch this fireproof lizard right here. So basically, if you want to level up this armor all the way to max, gather at least 30, like I said, of these smotherwing butterflies, and then you're going to need a bunch of these fireproof lizards, and they are hanging out all over the place up here. Get like, I don't know, 25 of the uh, fireproof lizards and like 30 smother wing butterflies. And then don't forget, you gotta get a bunch of uh, Hinox guts. I would say 5, 10, 15 Hinox guts and you'll be good. The Moblin horns, you'll probably already have those. And you'll see exactly everything you need when you go to the Great Fairy Fountain. So this is powering up the fire brick armor all the way to the max. I'm gonna go ahead and show you uh, all of that right now. Well, I don't know. I guess it's kind of irrelevant, right? I'll just skip to the end where you see the armor all the way at max. But basically, I just wanted to show you what you needed to uh, level up to the last level. And honestly, in my opinion, it's pretty simple to level up the firebreak armor. I thought you would need like Denril's horns or anything like that, but everything that you really need can be found in the Elden Mountain region. Just fireproof lizards and smothering butterflies and the moblin horns, stuff like that. Like I said, you already have all of those. And there's that sick animation of her taking Link down into the Brimy deeps of her. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything inappropriate, but that's kind of weird. She has to take him all the way down there to enhance his armor. But uh, 12 to 20 looks like the armor maxes out at 20 defense on each of the pieces. You don't really need anything too like out of the way crazy for him. Go ahead and level up the legs there and uh, put that to 20. See what you need there. Smothering butterfly times uh, five, and then the Hinox guts or whatever like that. All right, so that is it. Next video, I'm going to go ahead and take this maxed out fireproof armor up against one of the Linnells and see if it is actually useful against 
one of their fireball attacks. I know there's a comment in one of my videos um, saying, hey, do you know if the fireproof armor will defend you against the attack from the Linnell when he shoots fire at you? And I'm interested to see that, so I'm going to go check that out like right now. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, dudes, do me a huge, huge favor. Hit that thumbs up button and uh, subscribe and check out some more of the videos in this playlist. Thanks, guys. Peace out.